I'm Paul C. Calla. Props go out to Sunnyside senior captain Jasmine Ayala. She threw a perfect game, including 11 strikeouts, and went over Walden Grove on Thursday. And last night, she'd take the mound against Ironwood Ridge, who came into the matchup unbeaten in league play. But don't forget about Iron Ridge pitcher Frankie Lucio. There she is. Get this. She came into the showdown unbeaten in her career at the varsity level. We're talking 15-0. She played solid early while Sunnyside initially struggled. And, hey, this is Diana Nisbet with the base hit for Ironwood Ridge. And a bit later, with two runners on, there's going to be a pop-up from Hayden Warner. I got it. Who's got it? I got it. Who? Me? No, you. You? What? It drops it. That allows Ashley Bass to score. The Nighthawks lead 1-0. But later, check out the defense by Sunnyside left fielder Lisette Dethridge. She will steal a hit away from the Nighthawks, Maddie Judge. The umpire says it's a catch, or was it? The ball could have hit the ground first. Who knows? Arnold Ridge does not agree with the umpire's call. Come on, why you a In the end, Sunnyside comes back to win 4-2. Both teams are now 7-1 in the 5A Southern. Hey, after starting the season 1-1 on the road, your Tucson area professional soccer team will have its home debut tonight. I'm talking FC Tucson from the United States Soccer League 1. They'll be taking on Toronto FC 2 at the Kino Sports Complex. The game is set for 7.30 p.m. and it's the first professional home matchup since FC Tucson has moved up a league to the USL one.